I'd like to begin a discussion, a discussion on choosing a knife for self-defense. Over and over, I hear the argument that if you have a knife, it can be knocked out of your hand, it can be taken from you, and used against you. However, searching the web, stories of people, whomever, wherever, I've yet to see the rash of cases where people who tote knives, those knives have been taken from them and used against them. In any case, most people would tell, most people would say to a woman, what happens if your knife is taken from you? My question would be, why is that any more possible for some creep to take a knife away from a woman than it is for him to take that knife away from a man of similar size and weight. Meaning, I weigh 145 pounds, 150 pounds soaking wet. So are you gonna tell me that a 230 or 250 pound man is gonna take this blade from my hand? You wouldn't dare, why? Because I'm a man. My argument to you is that a 145 pound or 150 pound woman can wield this blade with just as much strength, accuracy, as I can on a 250 pound man. Now I understand that me teaching this course is going to cause some kickback. There's going to be a lot of people who aren't going to dis- I probably said too much and I probably said it too forceful, but I have been waiting a long time to get this out. I have fought every idea and thought that you could imagine one having. Well, what if someone uses it in a state where it's illegal and they get locked up? Well, what are they using it against? That's the other question I have to ask myself. My daughter, whom also had a, she borrowed my karambit to go on a date. My 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 question to her was, honey, why why do you why do you need my my knife? And, and she says, I'm going on a date. And I said, Well, do you think you need it? She said, He's a he's a big guy. Sure, take it with you. As this date goes on, she walks in. He looks at her waist. I'm going to stop there because I'm a father. You know what he was doing. But anyway, he said to her, that's a very big knife you have. And she said to him, you're a very big guy. He said, you would cut me? And she said, if I have to. Needless to say, hands were kept to themselves. The male was very respectful, and he did want another date. The only thing that happened is the boundaries were reset when he saw the blade she was, the knife she was carrying on her side. It matched her dress. It didn't stand out. The only reason he didn't see it when he actually showed, came to the house to pick her up was because he was drawn in to what she was wearing. He'd yet to try and undress her with his eyes. I know this is going to cause kickbacks because there are legitimate arguments on either side. But here's my thought. If this will help you to take care of yourself, to defend yourself, if the very fact that it's hanging on your side when that guy decides to undress you with his mind, I guarantee you if he sees a knife on your side, he will stop at that knife. And the very next question out of his mouth, if he tries to speak to you, is would you cut me?